Good morning all. So we'll continue the discussion on the stresses in soil due to applied loads. Just for you to refresh, we had started our discussion with the different types of stresses that you can expect in soil. We uh, moved to the stresses due to the applied loads. Now then we discuss what Businesk equation is to find the stress beneath a point load. Then we discussed uh, a, a distribution of stress due to a strip load. Then he had moved to a circular area. Then we discussed something on the rectangular area beneath the corner and a point which is not beneath the corner, etc. The use of Adams chart. Now this problem is something related to an application of a business equation. We are giving the base of a tower which is of equilateral triangle the shape of a tripod. The total weight of the tower is given as 600 kN equally carried by the three legs. We are asked to compute the stress at a point 5 meter below one of the legs assuming the edges of a triangle as 6 meters. So in short it's nothing but a tower which is supported on three legs like this sides of which is assumed to have an equilateral pattern with side 6 meters. So the plan would look like this and the elevation would look like this. right? So you have the total weight 600 kN distributed or carried equally by the three legs. Let's call them C, A and B. Plan of which is given here. And you're asked to find the vertical stress intensity at a point 5 meter below any of the legs. So let's take that leg to be C. So the point P, our target point, is 5 meter below that. If you take a look at this picture, you can see that point P is at Z equal to 5 meter and R equal to 0 from C. Right? The radius is 0 when you consider point C, whereas when you consider point A, Z is the same 5 meter but R is different. B again Z is the same and R is different. So C is the only point where you can have R is equal to 0. So while calculating the stress at point P, the collective contribution of C, A and B have to be considered which means stress at P due to the load at C, stress at P due to the load at A, stress at P due to the loaded B. You add these three things together and what you get is a final answer. So in short, sigma ZP is equal to sigma PA plus PB plus PC. So for that, to find out sigma PA, sigma PB and sigma PC, we need to have the R and Z values to be substituted in the business equation. So I have represented that in a table. So Considering point P with respect to A, R is 6 meters and Z is 5 meters. Point B, the same story. Whereas point C, the difference is that R is not equal to 6 meters but 0, right? So point P is beneath, just beneath C. So there's no R. And when you consider A and B, you do have the radial distance 6 meters. So applying the business equation, for sigma PA, the first point, sigma PA is equal to IB into Q by Z square. I have written it in one single term. So whatever you see within this bracket is IB. So 3 by 2 pi into 1 by 1 plus R by Z square raised to 5 by 2 into Q by Z square. Now Q is 600 divided by 3. That turns out to be 200, right? So the total load 600 kN is equally distributed by the three legs. So Q in this particular case turns out to be 200 kN. Q by Z square, Z is constant, 5 and R is 6 meter when you have sigma PA, Z is 5 meter when you have sigma PA. So uh, the same thing goes with sigma PB as well. Right? When you take a look at this table, R and Z for A and B are the same. So sigma PB is the same thing. Sigma PC, the only difference is that R is not equal to 6 meter. Instead, it's 0 meters. So Q remains the same. Z remains the same. 
So add these three terms together, you get the answer sigma Zp as around 4.64 kilopascals. So this problem can be called as an application of the Bussinovsky equation. Now moving to the next problem, quite similar, an elevator structure of 10,000 kN is supported by four legs of a tower in the form of a square of 6 meters side. You are asked to find the stress at a point 7 meters below the center of the entire structure. So in plan it looks like this. P is a point of target of interest. You have the square in plan 6 meter by sides. P is some point 7 meters below the center. So the center is nothing but the point where the diagonals meet. So in elevation it looks like this. You have four pillars which support the elevated structure whose weight is already given. A, B, C and D are the points at which the legs meet at the ground level and P is a point 7 meters below the ground level. So to apply the business equation we know Z as 7 meters but we need to know the radial distance of point P from each of these legs right for instance the radial distance of P from A is nothing but half the diagonal distance AC so AC by 2 will give you radial distance R so AP is equal to R is half the diagonal which turns out to be 4.24 meters so just like the previous example the stress intensity at P is collectively contributed by the stress due to A, B, C and D. So in short you can write sigma Zp as the sum of sigma P A, sigma P B, sigma P C and sigma P D. Now if you take a look at this picture you can see that each of these values will be equal. Sigma P A will be equal to sigma P B will be equal to sigma P C will be equal to sigma P D. Right? So in short you can write sigma Zp is equal to 4 times sigma P A. Again sigma P A is nothing but I B into Q by Z square where Q is 10,000 divided by 4 and Z is 5 meters. So sigma P A is equal to I B which is represented inside this bracket multiplied by 2500 which is nothing but 10,000 by 4 by Z square. Now R the radial distance is a value that we have calculated to be 4.24 and Z is already given 7. Now there's a mistake which I made here this is not 5 this is 7. So you have IB into Q by Z square where Z is 7 meters by mistake I've written this is 5 meters. So the value of sigma Zp which is nothing but 4 times sigma Pa turns out to be 44.6 kilopascal approximately. You can cross check with my answer by working on your own. Next question a rectangular footing 6 meter by 3 meter in plan transmits a pressure of 16 kilopascal to the soil for us to calculate the vertical stress at a point 0.5 meter below the center of the foundation. Now this question I leave to you to submit as an assignment. If there's some trouble that you face, if there's some clarification that you require, uh, you can just let me know. I shall be happy to offer my help but nonetheless just give it a try if you can solve it on your own.